Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode here at Tours to Local. My name is Juliana and on this channel I share my travel tips, city guides, product reviews, stories from my adventures and a lot more. So welcome if you are new here. Today we are in Split Croatia with Royal Caribbean's Vision of the Seas exploring around for a day in port. I'm super excited because this is actually the first time that Vision of the Seas has gone to Split Croatia. This is a new change to their itinerary so we're going to be one of the first groups getting to explore around here. Today we're going to be doing a shore excursion called Ancient Split and Game of Thrones Experience. If you didn't know, Game of Thrones is filmed in many parts of the world, one of which is in Split, Croatia. So we're gonna be seeing some of the iconic places that it was filmed. I'm very excited. My family doesn't watch Game of Thrones, but I do, and I'm still hoping that they enjoy this experience because from what it seems, this place is gorgeous. So today I'm gonna to be taking you guys all along with us to show you what this shore excursion is all about. Maybe we'll have time to explore on our own after as well. But for now, we gotta catch our tour. So we got another one of these beauties. Um, and just pretty much you get a little one-eared headphone. And it's like a radio and we've had these so many times. We know how to work these. Yeah. We're experts by now. This tour is taking us to two spots that were used during the filming of Game of Thrones. And right now we are at this fortress that was used as the set of Marine in season four and five of Game of Thrones. It looks very recognizable to me, but of course, if you've never seen the show, they also do talk about the cultural significance as well. So if some of your family really, really wants to see all the Game of Thrones sites and the other part of the family has not even seen the show, it is totally okay because anybody can appreciate the beauty of this place. Right now we're climbing up the top of this mountain and there's a beautiful view of Split down below. We gotta catch up to our tour because they're entering the fortress. <laughs> This is located way out of the city, in the middle between two mountains. It's like in the middle of that, and so I, don't, I would never be able to get here. So it's really beautiful. Libby, is it windy? Yeah. <laughs> really windy. It's really windy. We're at stop number two, our final stop on the tour. It's Diocletian's Palace, which is also another spot they use for filming, and it's super close to the cruise ship. So, if you're trying to be cheap and not do a tour, our cruise ship is literally right there, and you can walk right over. Right now, we're in the chamber where Khaleesi locked up her dragons. It's so cool. I didn't imagine it would look like this in real life. how it was decorated for the purpose. A couple of green doors were added for the shooting and a couple of flowers on the windows. So this is actually for another purpose just for casting through the city of Marine. This is for the street 
We're in the medieval town area of Split and it is so, so cute. There's so many different restaurants and shops. A great place to explore after the tour because we do still have a few hours left to explore on our own. We went straight back to this place because we caught it with our eyes and we could smell like this amazing pizza and they also have really good gelato. So we ran back here. We converted got, our we money. We got currency. We ran to the ATM. Oh my god, this is so good. I got the cheesecake. Livy got the cookies. Mom got this yogurt one. Yogurt on marina. Oh, this is like, so creamy. Is that good? good? Wow. This is a good gelato, guys. Different. It's good. And it is called, there's no name, but it's right here it's off the plaza. So, so good. We just finished our tour and now we have free time to explore on our own. This isn't too far away from the port, so if you're not interested in doing the Game of Thrones tour, which I actually do recommend because they did take us to an area that there's no way we could have gotten to on our own. But if you just want to explore around on your own, it's definitely possible. It's within walking distance of the ship. It feels super safe here and it's really cheap. We got three pieces of pizza and three gelatos for about $10 total. And we still have some money left over to buy some souvenirs. And this whole area is so adorable. It's honestly like being on a movie set everywhere you go, even in the places that Game of Thrones wasn't filmed. But I highly recommended the tour. It was really cool to see exact pictures and then see it come to life in real life before your very eyes. So I really enjoyed it. That concludes this video. We're gonna head back to the ship for lunch and then I have to work because I work remotely. But before you go, make sure you subscribe to this channel because we have a lot of videos on here. And if you're doing a Mediterranean cruise, you'll probably find some influence around here. And I just have a lot of videos in general showing how to pack. Um, various places around the world I've traveled to so make sure you subscribe it means the world to me So thank you so much in advance so long travel well and make the world your neighborhood